Hi friends, in this video, I will show you how much Bitcoin you really need to own to potentially retire on Bitcoin and this number might shock you. So we all know that Bitcoin is limited. There will only be ever 21 million Bitcoins, right? Think again, because nearly 4 million Bitcoins have already been lost because people lost their keys. They lost their private keys. They made incorrect transfers or they simply died and never told anyone that they hold uh, that they held Bitcoin. So let's do the math. So the max Bitcoin supply is 21 million minus the 4 million lost means that there will be a maximum of 17 million Bitcoins ever into existence. And we will only reach the 17 million in the year 2140, which is about 117 uh, yeah, years from now. And the current supply is 19.52 million Bitcoins minus the 4 million lost, means that the current supply is uh, 15 and a half million Bitcoins. So now let's consider this. There are 63 million millionaires globally on earth. So if each millionaire wanted to hold an equal amount of Bitcoin, they could only get 0.25 Bitcoin. Let that sink in. Only 0.25 Bitcoin if every millionaire on earth wanted to hold an equal share. So if you hold more than 0.25 Bitcoins, then you are actually richer than any millionaire could ever be in terms of Bitcoin. And now, what if we do the same math for all 8 billion people on Earth? Then each person would only be able to get 0 0.00194 Bitcoins. So basically less than 1%. It's uh, yeah, 0.2% Bitcoin, basically, if every person on Earth would hold the equal amount of Bitcoin. So if you hold more than 2% of Bitcoin, um, then you will be richer than the average human on Earth if all humans had the equal amount of Bitcoin. And now let's um, go even further. There are uh, 2,604 billionaires on Earth with a combined wealth of $12.2 trillion. So let's assume they would want to allocate 1% of their assets into Bitcoin. And at the current price of $34,000, this would mean they would have to purchase 3.5 million Bitcoins to just have 1% of their assets in Bitcoin, which would almost exhaust the av available supply of 4.2 million. Because right now, the available supply is just 4.2 million. What does that mean? It's the supply that you can right now buy on decentralized exchanges, on centralized exchanges, on OTC um, trading desks. Um, this is the available supply. And what about all the rest? The rest is held in cold storage. The rest is held by long-term holders that are not willing to sell their Bitcoins anytime soon. So what would happen if those billionaires would today want to purchase 3.5 million Bitcoins and we only have 4.2 million Bitcoins available? Of course, there would be a huge Bitcoin price surge. And now let's add Fidelity and BlackRock into the picture because the spot ETF approval is now imminent and BlackRock and Fidelity, they totally manage $13 tri uh, trillion dollars, um, uh, assets under management. And if, again, they would allocate 1% of all those assets into Bitcoin, that would mean additional demand of $130 billion. So basically the same amount as uh, the, tri uh, the billionaires had here. So um, they would also want to buy uh, 3.5 million Bitcoins which um, wouldn't even be possible. And the only way um, for this to be possible is for the Bitcoin price to go to the moon. So actually, my thesis is if you 
hold more than 0.25 bitcoins, more than a quarter of a bitcoin, you might likely be able to retire in the future because people like Michael Saylor make a compelling case that Bitcoin could actually go as high as $10 million per Bitcoin, which would mean that with a quarter, you would um, have the equivalent of $2.5 million, which is enough to retire yourself or even retire a small family um, if you do it well. And uh, then if you actually go a step further and you would want to become a a Bitcoin whole coiner, which means owning one full Bitcoin. And um, this could actually be the best bet you could ever do if you can afford it. Of course, if you can't afford it, then you can't do it. Then you should um, try to aim to uh, have at least a quarter uh, Bitcoin in your cold storage. But if you can afford it, if you have, I don't know, let's say you have $100,000 in available assets, it could actually be a really good bet to invest those $34,000, buy a whole Bitcoin, put it into cold storage, and just wait for this math to unfold. Because this might be your last chance, because we potentially enter the most monumental Bitcoin bull run in uh, that we have ever seen. Um, so um, yeah, Bitcoin is limited. A lot of people, Wall Street is about to get in. A lot of millionaires don't have exposure yet. A lot of billionaires don't have exposure yet. And what about not millionaires? What about the people that have assets of uh, $750,000 or half a million dollars or a quarter million dollars? Of course, if somebody has a net worth of a quarter million dollars, they would also want to own <laughs> one Bitcoin. And the math just doesn't work. You can uh, turn it around as much as you want. Um, there are only there will ever be ever be um, the maximally 17 million bitcoins available. Um, right now, uh, the maximum is 15 and a half million bitcoins that are available. So, if you do the math, the only um, thing that um, has to happen if this happens is the price needs to go up because the supply is limited, and if the demand goes through the roof, then price has to go up. This is economics 101. So prepare yourself, have a plan, and don't get greedy. I think it's really important to have a plan. Have a financial plan for yourself. Of course, don't jump right now into Bitcoin with everything you have. <laughs> don't FOMO in, because we now have been in a bear market that went on almost two years. And of course, people are tired of the bear markets, and now the narrative might switch from being in a bear market yesterday to, oh shit, I lost it and I need to get in um, as soon as possible. Um, so the FOMO might really kick in really hard and we are seeing it right now in the Bitcoin price. So it's $34,150 right now. Um, it's really moving up in the last five days. We are up 19%. So really have a plan. Don't overextend yourself. But if you can, just purchase a quarter of a Bitcoin. Or if you can afford it, purchase one full Bitcoin, become a whole coiner, because now, right now you still have the chance. If Bitcoin, uh, soon Bitcoin might be $100,000 or a quarter million dollars or half a million dollars, um, and then it will be much more difficult for you um, to um, yeah, purchase a quarter or a full Bitcoin. So now might be your last chance before Wall Street get, gets in, before all the family offices gets in, and before all the billionaires get in. And then we are not only talking about, not only about millionaires and billionaires, because we are only, uh, we, are, we also need to talk about governments, right? About central banks. What if central banks wanted to put a portion of their, for example, gold holdings into Bitcoin? What if companies would want to own their, um, uh, yeah, put their uh, treasury uh, money into Bitcoin? Uh, like MicroStrategy has done. MicroStrategy has purchased almost $5 billion worth of Bitcoin for their treasury strategy. And what if thousands of other companies wanted to do the same? Um, so basically, you can turn it around as much as you want. The Bitcoin amount is limited. And if we will see the demand that we are expecting, the price has only one way to go, and this is up. But again, have a plan, 
uh, don't get greedy, and most important of all, enjoy the ride. Um, we might enter a new phase of a bull market. The last two years have been quite difficult. But um, if you have a plan, and not only an entry plan, but also maybe have an exit plan, because of course, if we now see major FOMO, if we see major, um, yeah, uh, a, a, a major exaggeration on the upside, then of course, Bitcoin might trade for more than it's actually worth. And then you might want to think about uh, what is your exit strategy? Do you want to put in a hedge? For example, do you want to purchase put options to lock in the all-time high? Or do you want to take 10%, 20%, 50% off the table? Do you want to, for example, one good strategy um, for purchasing is dollar cost average in, but maybe dollar cost selling could be a good way to sell. So you would need to set up your selling points. When do you want to dollar cost sell? And the best time to do that, of course, is before um, the action is um, in full tilt, right? Uh, because if you're on the roller coaster, if Bitcoin um, is going up 10, 20, 30 percent maybe per day, which it might do um, in the in the height of the bull run, um, then it's really difficult to keep a calm head. So um, prepare yourself, make a plan, make an entry plan, make a hold plan, and also make an exit plan. And don't overextend yourself and enjoy the ride. And hopefully we can all retire on Bitcoin one day. Because again, I think you might need only as much as one quarter of a Bitcoin. And if you are a whole coiner, a coiner I believe this will be more than enough to finance a really good retired lifestyle. So thank you for watching. Um, subscribe to this channel if you want to um, see more content like this, and we'll see each other in the next video.